Hello, the lab this week is the Mole Mad Lab. This is your opportunity to practice the chemistry that you're going to be using the whole semester. That's why we're doing this lab, is because it's so very important. First thing you're going to see is the pre-lab. It says answers at the end. What this means is that as you read through here, I'm going to go back to the top in a minute, this is the description for this PDF document, which I'll click on in a moment. In the description, you've got your goals and you've got the mole concept. Here's some background to the mole concept, how you can think about it. This was also covered in class. And here is some help on kinds of questions you wanna be able to answer before you take the lab quiz. Notice, group one, it says counting sig figs. These are recommended problems. You could pick any kind of problems from that group. You have scientific notation. You wanna be able to do some of the problems that are recommended in here. We do not expect you to work all of the problems before the lab. Maybe just one or two from each of these groups. So what does that mean? Well, if I click on this PDF document, right here, some of these have to do with sig figs. So like maybe the first, second, third, so that would be the grouping, one of the groupings dealing with sig figs. So make sure you can answer one, two, or three of those questions. There's other problems in here. They're kind of mix and matched, and that's why we have them in groups of the types of problems you need to be able to work. If you're not sure if you're doing it right, go to the very end of the document and see all of their questions have answers. So you can check yourself. That's your pre-lab. The other thing about this pre-lab is that people come to chemistry with a lot of different backgrounds. That's why there are these three links in here. So if you're struggling with using a metric chart, if you still don't understand that, if you still don't understand the dimensional analysis concept, you're going to be struggling in this lab. So if you click on that link, it brings up a video. Repeating how to do dimensional. So now you understand at the end of watching that video or you're reminded how to use unit conversion, reading a metric chart, and there's even something in there about the exponent key. Let's say you're good on that topic, but you're not sure how to deal with something that has two units in it. This is a short little video. You've got the two so units in there. So if you decide we have this relationship, you may have to look this up. And last but not least, if you want to know about sig figs, anything sig figs, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, let's say you keep getting the answer, but you keep getting it marked wrong because you're not getting your sig figs right. This third video is going to be what helps you with that topic. It involves not just addition subtraction, but what do you do if you've got something mixed that has addition subtraction and multiplication and division. This is, lab is going and is designed to help you become really, really familiar with chemistry and math. For the lab itself, you're going to print off the data sheet. Notice it has one, two pages. These pages, actually four pages. These pages have numbers by them. When you open up the lab, you're going to be actually doing a digital activity, but that's not what gives you credit for the answers. Having all the work written out on these data sheets is what gives you the credit for the answers. This is what you're going to be dropping into the Dropbox, and this is going to be what you're going to be graded upon. The activity, we'll go back to it, Right here, this activity will tell you if you're doing it all right and if you're getting the right answers. So when you start this activity, you can take it more than one time until you get the right answers. That activity right there is going to be helping you and it's going to be in the exact order of that report sheet. You need to be writing your work on the report sheet and dropping that in the Dropbox. At the end of activity, you will see the grades you get and again, you can take it over and over and over. Hope that helps. Good luck on this lab.